is a single wide. I'm gonna shout this one out to our family member, D. Giles. She's always asking about single wides, or she's asking the past. And as promised, I'm bringing more single wides. Now, this is the anniversary. And I actually, this is the one my husband and I wanted to get before we decided on a double wide. So let's take a look at the anniversary because it's a beautiful home. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy it. Look at all the natural light in here. So when you come in, um, this is a view that you see. I'm standing in front of the front door. It has a lot of great feature features, including all the windows and light that it brings in. So let's walk around and show you what it looks like. Again, that's the front door. And I'll pan around and let you see the living area. The floors in here are dark. The cabinets are wood, but I could see this in a white or a gray. You have built-ins right there. You put your TV there in the middle. You have room for decor and books and whatever else that you like to put there. Family photos. You have the floor to ceiling windows as well as the little peep windows up there and this is a nice feature you also have beams in the ceiling as well as a ceiling fan lots of beams in the ceiling now if you go through the living room into the kitchen you have the counter space here you can put two to three seats at that counter and you have an eat it, it's an eat in kitchen. And these patio doors, they're optional. Those could be windows or they could be doors. Lots of cabinet space. You have like a buffet built in over here. And you have lots of space, storage space over there. You also have lots of cabinet space here in the kitchen. You have black appliances. You have your farmhouse sink here. The standard hoods have a light and a fan in them. And there's also a light in the oven. If you were wondering about the refrigerator, you have a nice window over your sink. More cabinet space. And that's the kitchen. Now this first door is probably the heating and air unit. Let's take a look. Oh, you have a pantry, pantry space. I didn't remember that about um, this home. Again, this is the anniversary. But you have a pantry here. And then here's your utility room. Your washer and dryer go there. You have shelving over the washer and dryer. You also have a window in here. And then you have storage space over the refrigerator. Okay. Let's go into the master ba bedroom. This is the master. Nice size master. Lots of space in the master, big windows. Master bedroom is a walk-in closet. I could see putting shelving on this side or even extending this shelving around. Or you can put a book uh, bookcase in here or shel storage shelving so that you have extra storage space. You can even ask them to put shelving midway for more storage space and there's a light in there and 
and then here's your master bath then you have a window over the garden tub huge garden tub shelving for decor or um, like a linen closet linen area for towels and things double sinks in here there's your toilet and your showers behind the door this is more than adequate for a master bathroom lots of space for two and I love the flow of the master bath there are no lights in here you can see how bright it is it's because of all the windows all right walking down the hallway here this is bedroom number one now this bedroom doesn't have any carpet that's a nice feature You have a, a small closet in here. If you don't want to use this for a bedroom, you, it, it would do for a nice office. Nice space for an office or for a bedroom. Bedroom number two has carpet, much bigger space. Much more space in here. And then you have another closet. And let's take a look at the guest bathroom. All right, it's kind of dark, so I'll probably post the picture from online. 